All right, this video, it's busy. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got some shout outs. We're gonna talk about Chase Patton and the giveaway auction. And we're gonna look at our Tri-Stripe and Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost project. So don't go anywhere. Welcome to another video. We are uh, a few things going on in this video. We're going to do some shout outs uh, for some stuff that we've got going on. Uh, people have sent us uh, some apparel and stickers and things, so we're going to do that. Um, we are also going to mention uh, an auction that is going on right now. It's live. You're going to see this video while this auction is still live. You have to at least go check this auction page out, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. And we're gonna go over our Tri-Stripe projects and our Desert Ghost projects. Uh, there's not a lot of animals in these, so we figured we'd just kind of wrap them all together and kind of go through that stuff. So uh, if you want a drink, um, you can go grab a drink. This here today, I am, this is a, a rye Woodford bourbon. Uh, so don't go anywhere. He's still here. So Rick, at Tavix Fancy Balls, um, sent me some Woodford Reserve. You can see that. There you go. Sent me some Woodford Reserve. Um, thanks again, Rick. That was awesome. Uh, so I stepped it up a little bit of a notch, and this is the Rye Woodford Reserve. Uh, this stuff is fantastic. I'm nothing like a decent bourbon. <laughs> and I'm drinking a vanilla espresso porter from somebody it's it's a uh, rain cloud this one right here out of road it's out of rhode island you didn't even tell them what it is so foolproof brewing company yes you can see that full there it is foolproof brewing company rain cloud this is the vanilla espresso rain rain cloud um, they do several different ones. They'll do a peanut butter one. Uh, there's a robust porter one they do. Yeah, this was uh, this is my first time experiencing this one. This one's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's a it's a really full porter. It's a pretty decent um, drink if you like the the dark stuff. Yeah, nice and dark. And then um, again, another shout out to Royal Empire. Um, sent us another sticker. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, I did a quick runoff of some stickers. Uh, I only have like 10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you one. So I still got your uh, address. I'm gonna shoot that to you. And, uh, and in the last video you saw my boy Harrison at uh, Royal Canvas Exotics. Uh, I got a nice hat from him and a beanie, which I'm kind of out of the season for beanies right now. Uh, but thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, the garb as well. Uh, we're going to put uh, as many descriptions as we can in the comments down below. So you definitely want to go check that out. Get rid of that. And I got to get back to my style. Sorry. Uh, on to the next um, mode of business. Yeah. So um, if, you, if you're on YouTube, Facebook, any type of social media chase Patton, which is the the young gentleman that helps out justin kabilka has been diagnosed with a brain tumor uh, it's a stage two i believe if i'm not mistaken the plan is for surgery uh, chemo radiation um, for recovery and that kind of thing um, you know really for a young guy like that really hard Kind of pill to swallow yeah um there is a ton of advancements in in the procedures and in treatment uh, for this so it is a very treatable condition um, i do have a friend that was diagnosed with the exact same tumor um, and has to this point pretty much made a full recovery he is a teacher he plays guitar he has you know use of all extremities you know the thing you, that you, you worry about when when they go in to do surgery on the brain is you know full motor function and you know vision and speech and all that stuff right. um, so this young gentleman is a teacher in a grade school a music teacher and he plays guitar and he teaches so um, there is light at the end of that tunnel there is a ton of support going on for this family right now it's absolutely amazing um, 
I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to the uh, page that is on Facebook that is hosting all these auctions. So there are people, there's some near 2,000 members in this group at this time that are putting up auctions and 100% of the proceeds are going to the patent family uh, for medical bills and that kind of thing. We currently right now have an albino female that was a holdback of mine um, that I decided, because I really didn't have a ton of babies uh, to offer up something that I would, I would want to offer that I felt would really fetch a, a high amount of money or as high as possible. So I pulled one of my holdbacks out of my rack and said, mm, here we go. So she is up there right now. She's like 860 grams, um, cinnamon albino female. And I mean, she looks, she looks great. And so it's an active uh, bidding right now. It closes at uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow. So click that link down below. Go check out that auction and uh, you know bid it up some. So they you know so they say. You're right. And and Chase, if you do see this video, we're pulling for you, brother. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Lots of prayers and stuff going to you and your family. Um, you know, I can only imagine. Not only are you tweaked out, but your your whole family's got to be a mess as well. So. Uh, lots of prayers all directed in your your family's direction that you you know everything goes as smoothly as possible uh, you know the treatment is you know spot on heck even better than that that they do a uh, follow-up mri right before you go and it's all gone right you right know, yeah i mean that would be awesome but, right yeah so anyway so yeah with that said check out that link and then um what we got we got to look at some animals yeah yeah some tri-stripe and desert ghost yeah so, so yeah let's it. look at it all right, we're gonna start out with the Tri-Stripe project. Um, the first couple animals came from uh, Sean Bradley. So this guy is a yellow belly, 100% het Tri-Stripe. And he's just like classic, classic yellow belly. Um, there's just no doubt. I mean, you look at, you look at the flames in there, strong flames all over the place. The checkering on the belly is just so classic yellow belly. I mean, there's no guessing that this is a yellow belly. Yeah, none at all. <laughs> now, now, what I have with uh, the tri-stripe stuff, as I've seen that like some of the alien heads, actually this would bleed over and connect and it would almost look kind of like striping. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this guy just doesn't really have much of that. If you look at like right here I would this would make a line and it would connect to this alien head I have a couple on one of the why well, on the one of the females that look like that but we'll show you that when we get there but anyway just awesome dude and he's a machine of an eater a machine of an eater Yellow belly, 100% head trash All right, so this is the first female. Uh, this uh, female also came from Sean Bradley as well. This is a cinnamon 100% head for tri-stripe. Now, when I said like those alien heads are connecting, you can see like here, they're kind of trying to where it's getting kind of broken up. Um, those eyes have connected here, um, you know, a little bit there, some more breaking up going on over here. Um, you can see over here, it hasn't made a complete stripe, but you still get a lot of, you know, that those alien heads connecting, trying to make stripes. Here's another one trying to make stripes, another one, you know, and then up by the neck, you get all this connected stuff that's striping out. So that is all um, what I think are traits or could be markers for uh, tri-stripe. Uh, again, I've not produced any. Uh, and I'm just starting to work with this gene, so I don't even know that that's fact. It's just stuff that I see within um, this animal and the next one that I'm going to show you as well. But this girl looks uh, looks pretty good. She's a cinnamon, 100% het for trust. All right, so this girl is from Bloodline Reptiles, um, Rich Maseus, and this is an albino. 100% het for try female and she's going in the shed so her colors don't quite pop but if we can get up to this neck here you can see all that striping and she'll cooperate a um, little bit on this side really really strong over here 
and then a lot of connecting right there. You can see all like I guess three alien heads right there that's all connected. Some more starting, they're trying to on that side. It's hard to see with her in the shed, but she's getting there, she's getting to size. She looks really good. I can't, I really can't wait to start making some of these things. Uh, the visuals are gonna be awesome. And then once I can get a visual mail, um, you know, it'll be building the project again and just working it into, you know, different combos and double head stuff and all kinds of things. So we'll see. Yeah, so a vino 100% heifer tristrum. All right, so on to the Desert Ghost Project. Um, so this mail here came from Justin Kabelka. Um, this is a Firefly Leopard 100% het for Desert Ghost. I am stoked about this guy. This dude, ah, I am so amped. I uh, can't wait to you know get babies from him. I just I love the the really busy leopard pattern. Um, we have a couple different lines of leopard in house here. Some are very busy, which I love the busier pattern, and some are very reduced. Um, so I guess it really depends on what you're looking for. And he is starting to like tee me up. Like he's, <laughs> he's gonna, eyeballing he, Yeah, you. <laughs> he wants to light me up. And that's fine, as long as he stays there. Um, but this dude looks awesome. And just really, really nice looking animal. I mean, you can see that head really looks desert ghost like uh, so just some coloring sometimes when you have hats kind of lead you to believe that you know that hat really is is really there um, so yeah he just looks awesome he's got really cool eye stripes like jet black you can see that you can sit still long enough yeah. come on come on honey. <laughs> Kind of see those eye stripes anyway. Really, really dark. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that looks awesome. Lots of great blushing. Strong leopard pattern. Bright. I just love it. So yeah. So on the on for the visual uh, production from this guy will be will just be amazing. I just can't wait. Look at those patterns. That's just phenomenal. So Firefly Leopard, 100% Het for Desert Ghost. All right, this girl, this is a Super Pastel, 100% Het for Desert Ghost. She comes from the Bell line, from what I've been told. Um, she's been one of those on again, off again feeders. And again, if we, you know, this is, you know, the, again, alien heads are connected here, but I don't see like full striping uh, really anywhere. So. Um, I don't know. I could be totally off with the uh, tri-stripe stuff, but you know, this girl is hat for Desert Ghost. Good shot of her head. Uh, super pastel. Some cool pattern. Fair color. Lots of lots of blushing. Is that belly? Just a nice clear belly. Super pastel, female, 100% hat for desert. Good lord, desert. All ghost. right, so this is the only visual in the Desert Ghost project that I have currently, um, and this girl was previously nicknamed Aniston because uh, of how pretty she is. Uh, this is a pastel Desert Ghost female that I picked up at Tinley from CJ Pets, and she's proving to be one of those challenging eater girls. I mean, she's about 750, 800 grams. So she's close to that wall, and she's yeah definitely hit a wall for sure. Um, she, it's been a minute since she's eaten, um, but you know, you know whatever time she needs, she'll get there. And then when she does, it's just going to be you know insane. Like just the color. And she just shed, so she just looks amazing right now. She's super blushed out, very cream yellows. Uh, I just love, I love this gene. I love what it does. It literally could go into just about anything and make it better. Mm. So that's what I'm hoping to do is to put it into just about everything and make it better. Man, that's just, look at that blood.
blushing. Yeah. It's just crazy. And she just glows. Yeah. Pastel, desert ghost, female, Aniston. All right, so a decent little look at uh, some animals. Uh, not a lot of visuals in these two projects. Um, the individual, the, the visuals, <laughs> the visuals within these recessive projects tend to be very pricey. Um, so I've gone at it from a head to head standpoint. So hopefully all the heads prove out and we get some visuals going. Uh, we'll see if we hit some stuff um, you know, next season uh, and, and then just kind of go from there. I'll end up building more hats and double, and doing some double hat stuff with the Tri-Stripe and the Desert Ghost. They're going to be uh, worked through a bunch of different stuff um, and go from there. One last thing. Well, two things. Our giveaway, we're at 940? Yeah, somewhere around there. Like 940 yeah. subscribers, so we're almost there. Um, share this share this video actually you know don't share this video go back and share the thousand subscriber video if you don't mind that'd be awesome and let's push this out for the last 60 subscribers so that we can get somebody a free snake I mean that that'd be fa fantastic who want to do that and then coming July 14th 7 14 19 um, we're going to be again, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of math in there, no matter which way you slice it. And we're going to be at White Plains. Uh, we'll have a table. We'll have whatever animals we have left. Um, I don't have a lot left for the season. I'm trying to work some things to see if I can um, pick up some animals from some friends. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But you know, right now we do have some animals that should be available there unless we sell out by the time we get there, which would kind of suck for that show. But is what it is and we're, so and we're crossing our fingers we're on the main floor again the past two times we've lucked out people have called you know sick yeah. and we've been able to get onto the main floor get a little bit more exposure see some more people and yeah uh, though, yeah it's good when we're out on the main floor and not tucked in that room in the back but yeah it's funny people are getting to know us and where we're at and they all go back in the room and That's we're not true. there so uh <laughs> we've had multiple people like send us messages either through instagram or or text me or, or whatever and say like dude where are you at you're not at your table i'm like yeah they moved i they moved us to the main floor you know so i, I try to post that in some of the threads that lead up to the show where we're announcing where we're going to be and stuff and yeah inevitably it just it is what it is right <laughs> it's all worthy of the drink chase cheers cheers Anyway, enough babble from us. Uh, thanks for following along, and please go check out that that auction page. Not just for for our snake. There's a ton of great animals on there. Uh, Justin Kabelka's poking poking. Good lord, I cannot speak, and I, I just started. This is the first one. <laughs> Justin Kabelka is posting animals on there that are on the auction. AEP is posting stuff. Mike Brizzy is posting stuff, and you get on that page. A huge shout out to Mike Brizzy for heading up this whole this whole page, this whole auction. Yeah. Uh, he is to managing everything. He's looking at you, only a certain amount of active auctions are available on uh, you know at a time. Stuff sits in a queue and as things come off, he's making other ones available. That man needs a, a huge shout out as well for all the effort uh, going into running this auction. It's fantastic. There's a ton of other you know, great animals on there and other breeders that have donated, you know, interesting things. And it's all not just snakes. There's, I've seen tarantulas, there's books. Um, NARBC donated tables. Like there's all kind of stuff on this on this page. So definitely click that link, go check that out. Overbid the auctions more than whatever it's worth because it's all for a great cause. Our auction page, uh, I'm covering shipping. So when you bid on that animal, bid it up bid it up i'm gonna cover shipping so you don't have to worry about that so that's at least another fifty dollars you can throw into the auction and uh with that said two sentences from him thanks from us thanks for watching <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the next video peace take care